Hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games. And today, we're gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Apparently it was quite well known at the start of the year, so I'm kinda late to the game. But you know, I like the artwork, I like Japanese girls. Let's get into the game. New game. I have no idea what this is about. Enter your name. They are probably gonna address me as something something son. So, I'm gonna call myself... My name is Big Hot. Big Hot Sun. Get it? Oh, it's one of those story games. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you've never see, you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Aha! Friend zone. Sayori. Again, but I caught you this time. Nah, okay, I'm not gonna keep up with this voice, sorry. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, my name is Big Hot. Sayori. <coughs> eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Big Hot. Okay, so they don't call me son, they just call me Big Hot. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Why not? Fine, fine. She's kinda cute. Sayori. It's very easy to remember because her head is like a tomato. But you did wait for me after all. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. That's me in real life. By the way, big heart, have you decided on a club to join yet? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe football or basketball or golf. But no, this is literature club. I told you already I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Dude, how far deep are you in the friend zone, bro? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you are not used to the real world. Neat is someone who is anti-social. Yeah, I watched a few animes. Someone who's secluded from society and stuff like that. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Why don't I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl? Story of my life. I don't know, you see a cute girl, you just listen to whatever they say, right? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. No shit, Sherlock! Stop giving in! Just because she's cute, she doesn't even have boobs. <laughs> so I already want you to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Woohoo! I don't mind anime clubs. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out. So I came in. No, you do not come in on someone spacing out. You leave them alone. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. But I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know. You know what? I thought you could come to my club. Yep, I, to I told you. No choice. Literature club. Meh. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. L l let me go to anime club, please. Leave me alone. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hee hee hee. Don't make promises you can keep. Girls. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if, so, or if she's so cutting as to have planned out all of this. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Oh, yes, 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 definitely. Yay, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. You would at least get a donut as a bonus, okay, man? Hey, I glanced around the room. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, nice to meet you too, girl one. Sayori always says nice things about you. Ah, stop it. <laughs> Seriously, you want a boy? So, let me guess. We've got a demure, sexy, intelligent girl one. And we've got a small, angry, aggressive, chili paddy, narcissistic, feminist. Ah, big heart, what a surprise. Hello, who are you now? I realize that all their eyes have different colors. Purple, pink, and green. Middle one has no boobs. Purple hair has bigger boobs. Brown hair has smaller waist frames, so that's why her boobs look bigger, but actually it's not. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. I know! Kawaii! What are you looking at? Your non-existent boob. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Don't eat them, you might die. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <laughs> don't say things like that. Look at her blush! Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Mm -hmm. Monica. That's right. How do I know you again? Monica smiles sweetly. Mmm. Yeah, I, you're, you're, you're cute. We were in the same class last year. Ah. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Can tell. Basically, completely out of my league. 
come sit down behind. We made a room for you at the table, so you can come sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Then how about I make some tea as well? Well, sure. Why not? Okay, are you ready? Now you're nice. I don't get you. Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Haha, <laughs> well, you know. See, now you know not to trust her because you know every anime character that has one shark tooth hanging out is always something cheeky. They're always cheeky. Just hurry and take one. It's delicious. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. How about the whole thing, man? Just take the whole thing. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. <laughs> Uh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this summer before? Made them for you or anything. Jeez, woman, just, just take the thanks and leave. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. I can just stay on this screen forever, you know, guys? Like, the things I would do to this girl, man. Mm, like, braid her hair, dye her hair green like mine. Yoni! Take her hiking? Let's carry on. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? You know what? Cheers to that. I agree with you. I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Oh, ho, ho. Girl, trust me. Without you saying anything, I am impressed. Eh, that's not me. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I like it when girls are like this and they act all shy. It makes them hard to guess. <laughs> now I know why you chose this game for me. Jeez, you know, you know, like girls like this are my weak spot. I meant that, you know. I believe I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a passer for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. <laughs> I can't stop smiling at Yuri though. Yuri is so cute. Monica raises an eyebrow then smiles at me. Nani? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are not supposed to know I'm an anime freak. I, I, I tend to get very when I watch anime, you know. Like people watch K-drama, C-drama, J-drama and they get all like, Oh my god, he's so handsome, she's so beautiful. For me, my weak spot is actually anime. It's moments like this that makes me go... <laughs> So what made you consider the literature club? Well, I was kind of forced to go, but you know. Oh. I was afraid of this question. Uh, you don't have to be afraid, just answer it. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. But you must always tell the truth. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Four girls, one guy in a literature club. This is practically haram. Not haram, you know, harem. It's, it's a term where there's one guy and a lot of girls. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club yours? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm, well, you know. To be honest, I can't set all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, that I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. They're actually holding hands down there. You can't see it, but they're actually holding hands. Yuri nods in agreement. You, you, you see their, their faces? Like, Sayori is like the cheery type, like, mm -hmm. your next door kind of girl. Monica's the, the leader. She has that, that charisma about her, you know. You don't really talk to her, but you know, you appreciate her from afar. Like, damn girl, you good, you know. And Yuri's the, the kind of girl like, hey, let me brush your hair, pet your head. Let me give you back massages, I don't know. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. The more I stare at her, the more she looks like an android. She looks like a robot. See, her face is like so symmetrically forward. It's so straight. Like, I cut it into half, she's still the same. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Football is fun and worthwhile. Basketball is fun and worthwhile. Heck, even drama is fun and worthwhile, okay? But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can already grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Kan bate kurasai? You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Alright, let's rate them since all four girls are here. In 1, 2, 3, and 4. Natsuki 1, Sayori 2, Monica 3, Yuri 4. Funny how I remember all their names already. Usually it's very hard for me to memorize. Girls' names but I 
apparently mem memorize the name. Natsuki because not Suki, I don't like you. Sayori because your hair is like a tomato. Monica because you're the only English name. And Yuri because damn girl, I wanna do Yuri. What? Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also the letter by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Big Heart, what kind of things do you like to read? Do I read? Considering how little I've read this past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's fat smile. You have to impress her. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? What do you read? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. What books do I read? My favorite series in novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh my god, she's a freak. She's into tentacles and stuff. She's into tentacles. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Tentacles, dragons, and headless horses. You know, she, she reminds me of like a, of this saying, you know, senpai in the streets, hentai in the sheets. I don't know who said it, but it's stuck in my head now. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yui goes on clearly passionate about reading. Yeah, so technically she's like going on and on. I'm just like, uh, Seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. See, this is how you get close to girls, guys. You find out their interests and you get them to talk about it. Pretend to be interested. You'll be like, and you'll just be like, mmm. You can be thinking about what to eat or what to play tonight. And they'll be like, oh, this guy's such a good listener. But technically, you're just spacing out. Life hack. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. You just want tentacles, right? You like tentacles, just say you like tentacles. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Tentacles in a loop. Okay. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Definitely tentacles in horror. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. Ah, yeah, see, see, see. Like when a girl says something along the line of blah, 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 cat, blah, 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 blah. So that one word is just, ah, yes, cat. I used to have a cat. That's how you, you create a conversation with a girl. But this way, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Kind I have to agree on Natsuki on this one, but Yuri, oh, why is that? Well, it just Natsuki's eye dart over to me for a split second. <laughs> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh, what? Oh, so she's the cutesy type. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Oh, 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 oh. So there's a poem! Hehehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poem. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. She's not cute. So Natsuki is trying to portray as a hard-headed, uh, stubborn, cute girl. But you know, like, they they don't want to admit they like a guy and they'll be like, you know, like, they love to mumble to themselves. Sayuri slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Uh -huh. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Yeah, I wouldn't. I just wanted to get conversation, that's all. I'm not a very confident writer yet. Oh, he's poking! It may not seem like much, but technically he's poking her ego right now. I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Yuri, you may be hot, but sometimes you sound dumb. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Dear Dan, remember to have lunch. What's so hard about writing that to myself? You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's getting very deep now. I, I, I wanted to sneeze actually. I'm sort of allergic to bullshit. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help not to keep you comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I want to read everyone's poems. You know, guys, so far the story is going on. This this scene is kind of draggy, but it's good to know that they, I know what they are like. Sayori is pretty much normal. Monica is the hard-headed leader. Natsuki is a very stuck-up, arrogant, cute little girl. And Yuri is just a lost soul. Let's just see how the story slowly progresses. We all sit in silence for a moment. You know what? Maybe that's my cue to stop. Let me save the game. Empty slot. Yeah. And we shall sit in silence until this second part of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to see maybe a part 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club. And guys, I was joking about the tentacles part, okay? I don't watch tentacle anime stuff. Not in public, that is. Okay guys, so do remember to subscribe to us and stay tuned for part 2. See you guys. Bye-bye.